Hey, what's up? Look for my YouTube channel. Okay, as y'all can see from the title, I'm doing an unpopular opinions video, and I'm with the Big Kenya. And yeah. Yeah, so this video is something I've been wanting to do for a long time. I was always planning on doing it like with somebody because I feel like with my opinions that it's like I have certain opinions that I know everybody don't agree with. So I just wanted to like see if my mind could change, get a different perspective to just see like do I just have outdated ways of thinking? So I have like opinions written down and we just basically gonna read it, give my little insight, my ones and twos on why I think like this. And then Ken gonna give his ones and twos if you like agree, disagree. I'm gonna keep it a book, keep it a stay. If y'all don't like my opinion, I don't care. If you know me, you know I don't care. So it is what it is. Yeah, so my first unpopular opinion, I said girls support gay boys more than other gay people. Yes, I feel like that's true, and I also feel like girls be using gay people as accessories as well, too. Like, no shade, it look like they really support you, but the whole time, females be in competition with gay people as well. So, I feel like it's both ways. I feel like it's 50 50 because it's some gay boys that actually support gay boys, and it's some girls that support girls, and it's some girls that hate on gay people, and mm -hmm. it's some, you know, I feel like it's 50 50. I feel like, yeah, I feel like that same thing, too, but I do feel like girls. I feel like a girl gonna support you to a certain extent until they get mad. Then you yeah, until they get mad. mad when they mad, yeah. all this, and then you a fag. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then the third, that's why. So friendships with like female, it's like I try not. That's why I don't have to meet a female friend. I tr or gay friend either. Mm -hmm. I don't have like a couple. People. I try to keep the same friend. Cause when I try to be friends with other females, you can see the hate. Like you can see the jealousy. Like you can see the jealousy. Like that real females be having. And y'all probably be like, "What we jealous of? We got what y'all want, baby. Y'all don't got what I want." No shade, because I have a wee in between my legs. I hate, I hate when y'all say that. Like, y'all, yeah. but yeah, that's it. Yeah, I feel like we should stop associating tops of masculinity and bottoms of femininity. Oh, nah, boo. <laughs> I need me a top. I'm <laughs> simple. It ain't here what it is. So you, need, so you feel like a top needs to be a man, 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 masculine, masculine, masculine? I don't know. You could be fem Me, personally, I just like masculine boys. Like, they mm -hmm. just me personally. Like, I don't know, because first, I already got an attitude. Mm -hmm. I already get smart. I always be having my boo swing. So why would I want somebody who's not going to be able right. to handle the And why would I want somebody, if I get an attitude, then you have an attitude because we got the same traits because you film. So it's like, we both can't be having attitudes. Yes. Like, you know, I, said, I feel like if you can date a boring person, you're settling. Because me, personally, I just can't be with a boring ass bitch. Like, mm -hmm. that's like, mm-mm. What's boring? Like, what you mean? Boring, boring? like, they don't know how to hold a conversation. They like don't have nothing going on. Like like when I say nothing going on, like they life is just boring. Like when you on the phone, it's boring. Like you have just been oh, yeah. talking to somebody, you just bored. Like, like, you boring in real life. You just weird as fuck. <laughs> you just boring. <laughs> now that's no shade. Like on the phone, I get what you're saying. Like on the phone, but you like you boring in real life. You just weird as fuck. I feel like you don't like me, so it's like I don't even want to. I've met a couple people who boring in real life. It's just like, it's just like yeah, but it's, it's gonna be over. I'm saying like people I'm dating, like friends and stuff like yeah. that. You see my people you date, like yeah. people I'm dating. Yeah, I can't. No. Nah. But people out there, they just be chilling. Like, niggas just chill. You know, like a chill nigga. Not, mm -hmm. I ain't saying you gotta be all hype like I'm hype. Mm -hmm. It's because I wanna be the hype. It's my relationship. I want you to be like, calm down, baby. You know, like stuff like that. Mm -hmm. But niggas just be chill. But I'm saying boring as in, like, all you wanna do is just be boring. So, be boring. so what's the difference between being chill and boring? Being chill, like, you could be chill. Like, when you be chill, we could be chilling, smoking. We could be watching movies. We could be playing on. We could be doing all that because mm -hmm. it's chill. It's not it's boring. Chill. Uh -huh. But when you just bored, like, we just sitting there, not talking with you on your phone. I'm on my phone. Then I'm not even dealing with you because it's mm -hmm. like the connection out there. I said, just because I don't have your number saved doesn't mean we're not cool. No shade because I don't got a lot of people numbers saved. I don't be saving people numbers. And they don't mean we're not cool because I was, um, it was this one girl. She texted me. I was like, she was like, um, like, she was next to me. She was like, y'all got my number saved? I was like, Oh, I don't like. I don't yeah, know. Like, like, They're just like saying, just because we don't follow each other on Instagram, don't mean we're cool. Yeah. Just like my straight friends, I have a lot of straight friends that don't follow me on Instagram because of the stuff that I do. And they'll think, you don't like it. Like, y'all mm -hmm. into it because y'all don't follow each other. Or they'll think, just, I don't know how to explain it because y'all don't follow each other on social media. Y'all not. Cool. I don't follow a lot of my friends. Yeah, like social media. It's social media. Like, yeah. we know how we is in real life. Then it should be no pressure. I see if, like, we long distant friends and we not follow each other on social media. Then mm -hmm. it look like that. But if we're running each other every day, what we need to follow each other on social media for? That's I see saying. you make what you do. Like, no, mm -hmm. But we follow each other, y'all. Oh, yeah, we follow each other. We cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we cool. And my number stay. And your number stay. So, yeah. Well, I hope my number stay. Oh, uh, yeah, your number stay. Mm -hmm. And I got your location. Oh, yeah, we share location too. So, we real cool. I feel like I can put zero 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 on DoorDash tips if I wanted to. 
Oh hell yeah, I'm gonna do that anyway. Oh, I'm gonna do that anyway. Cause let me tell y'all, maybe say what you gotta say. Okay, I feel like I'm gonna put zero 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 because that four fifty that y'all try to I don't actually do. I don't know who y'all think I am. Mm -hmm. I'm not paying four fifty plus a four dollar delivery no fee shame. plus a three dollar service fee plus a three dollar maintenance to your car fee. I'm not mm -hmm. doing all that. And what if I'm paying you for? You ain't make the food. What I'm tipping you for, baby? You ain't make it. You might deliver. It. And some of y'all, and then y'all door dash people, y'all be stealing. You, you want people, I think you get my food and I tip you. After I'm not gonna tip you before, so y'all be having a little nasty attitude because y'all see we didn't tip y'all before. Mm -hmm. But baby, y'all have to wait. Like some of y'all be stealing, and then later y'all steal. Y'all be having an attitude. Y'all don't even want to bring it up to my door. So why would I tip you? No shade. If I have to come get it, if I have to come get the food, I'm not tipping. That's why I call door dash, not gate get dash. None of that. I want my stuff delivered at my door, not. Having to walk out there, I'm not gonna tip you if I have to walk to the door. Or let, I mean, to the car, unless you like handicap. This and I still won't do it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm dead. Oh, dash for a reason, man. And I hate when they put the food in front of the door. So like when you mm -hmm. open it, you gotta creep out to get it because they're not the food. I don't mm -hmm. like it. No shade. Mm -hmm. That's the way I'm talking about too. And they're just scary as fuck. Like, why would you take somebody food on the door? I be, that shit make me scared. Open the door. I be scared of it. Yeah, like, like, they creeping on the other side. Yeah, so like, like, they just wait for you to open the door and like, they snatch like, you. Like, like, I open the door. When I order the door, I open the door. So, like, I be scared. I, I, don't, I don't know. I be scared when I order food to the door. I don't feel like you have to tell your um, best friend everything. I don't have to tell the best friend. Now, it's like, uh, oh, shit, them all that. They don't know nothing. They just say you don't have to do that. Mm -hmm. I mean, I like if it's drama, like if they somebody talk about them, that's mm -hmm. different. Like it's like, but me telling them my DLs and stuff like that, I won't even say, I won't even tell you my DL. Like it's mm -hmm. some stuff that you can't tell your best friend. Like it's some stuff that they don't need to tell me. Like they just like them telling me, calling me like, oh girl, I'm on my period. Mm. Why would I want to know that? Right. Like, they're like, it's some stuff you Because some people think that's fake, though. Like, I feel like it's just boundaries with people. Yeah, like, it's not. Like, you want. But I tell you, if it's something, I don't really tell my hair business. But my DLs uh -huh. is one thing I would never tell. I don't care. Call it fake. Call it what you want. You want to never know who I'm messing with. No nigga I'm messing with. Unless I just don't care about him. Mm. But I feel like important shit, like, tell your best friend. Yeah, important shit. But other than that, mm -hmm. it's like, they probably don't even care for them. I don't like talking to people on the phone if they not at home. Girl, bye. you was just on the phone and nigga while he was at work. <laughs> Girl, you done lie. Like, you just, <laughs> nah, you just like, lie. I mean, like, I don't like talking to people on the phone if they, like, around people, people oh, in yeah. the background, people in the background talking to them. I don't like doing stuff like that because then I feel nervous. Mm -hmm. Don't know what you need to say. Yeah, don't know what you need to say. Then if they ask who you on the phone with, it's like an yeah, like, awkward thing. Yeah. Now, it be that who you on the phone with, and if you on the phone with a nigga, they be like, who you on the phone with? But it's like, they don't, they say, they be like, I don't know what they say, they be like, my friend. My friend. My homeboy. So, like, they'll be like, and I'll just be like, I just want to say something so bad, so I'll be like, okay, anyway. Like, that's what I hate when they're around people. That's why I try not to do something. Yeah. Where you coming from. So, I if, I'm, if, I'm, if he on the phone, I'm probably with you at home. No, sure. I'm probably with you at home. It don't work like that. Yeah, I'm not used to people speaking their minds, so y'all classify as rude. Mm hmm. People classify me as rude every day just because I speak my mind and I'm blunt. But I would call my think I'm rude. I don't think, I don't think I'm, I'm rude either. People say I'm rude either. I feel like the um a perfect example of that is like the city girls. Mm -hmm. I feel like people say the city girls are rude because they just speak their mind and they're not Yeah, and they blunt. And they blunt. The thing is, y'all have to understand, like, when I be rude to my, some of my supporters, the thing is, me and my supporters, we got a bond like this. So people that don't yeah. know me, like, they all think I'm being rude, but me and my support, we just cuss each other out. Like, yeah, I yes. cuss them out, they'll cuss me out. It's like, this how they were the city girls. Y'all, y'all just sensitive. I don't care. Y'all sensitive. Y'all are sensitive. Y'all sensitive. Because me, if y'all know me, y'all know I have that too, and y'all know I'm gonna curse y'all out. I don't play with y'all. Like, it's, I feel like we cool, we cool, but it's a certain way you play with me. Don't play with me. Like, I'm just like, because we ain't cool like that. So I don't play with y'all, and I, it's all love, but if you get cursed out by me, don't be mad. Just thought about your day. Be like, yes, I deserve to get cursed out because no, y'all curse me back out. Like, this yeah, curse me out. Like, and I be like, oh yeah, they my school. I be like, yeah. yeah. When, I love when people like follow us, talk that shit. Be like, talk your shit. Yeah, like, don't let me bully you, man. Don't let me bully you because if yeah. I feel like I can bully you, I'm gonna do it. Mm -hmm. I don't like seeing people take pictures and they gun poking out. They gone. We're gone. Like you know how you will take pictures and they have like bubble gun, bubble gun. Oh, they be on. popping it. Let me see if I can show you what exactly. What I can show you exactly what I'm talking about. But yeah, if I know what he's talking about, yeah. But I ain't gonna lie, I be trying to do that look. I try to do that pole one time, but I can't never get the girl to be as the big little balloon part before it pops. I gotta so. show you, I'm trying to find it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> girl, I ain't even got a little bubble. <laughs> yeah, I don't like that. I, don't, I see, yeah, I got clothes.
clothes on too. Or uh, not sure. Be sure the shirt did. But um, uh, yeah, like I ain't gonna show you. Uh, gonna show you. Like, I don't like that. Like I don't like that. It's like ugh, it just irks me because y'all do stuff like that. Hood niggas are junkie trade. Cause they just like saying, so I guess money bag, yo, or uh, junkie trade. I guess all them junkie trades. The mm -hmm. hood niggas, you just can't get your other. Yeah, I could like. Talk bad about the hood. Anybody can be a hood. Y'all think hood niggas and junkies, street niggas are two different things. Hood niggas, uh, street niggas. First of all, hood niggas, street niggas are two different things uh, in general. Two different things. A nigga and a, a dirty, musty nigga, y'all <laughs> think they hood, but it's just a dirty nigga. Y'all begin to confuse. A hood nigga is a nigga who actually do hood shit, not just. Walking around with a gun. Mm -hmm. And a nigga can't walk around with a gun. They just musty and dirty. But he's from the hood. <laughs> and the hood nigga I talked to, they never was dirty, no shade. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I just, hood niggas just ain't for real. But I love hood niggas. I would always stand beside them and I would never give up on them. I don't care. They're just me and I just love them. I said, having clout rushes your childhood. It do. It do. I feel like, I don't know. I feel like, I feel like, this personally for me, I feel like having clout rushes your childhood because I've been doing this since I was like, 14, 13, too, 14. one of them, 14. And I feel like, um, I don't know, I just feel like when you, like, known, and, like, when you, like, it's a different thing, like, having clout and then having, like, mm -hmm. an active page. Like, so when you, like, do this for real, for real, and, like, take it serious, you treat it like a job. So at 14 years old, you actually, like, passionate about something. So this, like, if you really passionate about something, this gonna, like, rush it. And if y'all know, like, people who know me in person, they especially know how my childhood was just rushed because I really wanted to do this for real. You know what I mean? Man, we the same way. So, I mean, you that is done for both of us. Y'all, yeah, that's a, a pain for both of us. Mm -hmm. I feel like that is not, I'm not just clout rushing your childhood. Anything in general, this generation just rush in general. Like, yeah. everything just rushing because this generation, time going by fast. Not so. I feel like childhood is not even the same no more. So, I don't even believe in childhood. So, yeah. No shade. I don't believe. Do y'all? I don't believe in childhood because it'd be like eight year old wearing nails and stuff like that. So, I don't even. Wearing design all that you don't see them little kids wearing no sketches no more. Like this up was a fun child. Yeah. Like when you used to like I don't know how to explain it, but if you get it, you get it. Like it's like it's not a childhood no more. I believe in marriage. What do you think I about know. that? Y'all believe in marriage? Y'all marry, no think you'll get married, Ken? And years from now, refer back to the video, I bet I still won't be married twenty years from now. Ken, like, why y'all believe in marriage? I'm not even I'm not finna even deal with one new I don't know, cause I watch too much stuff. Like, I watch too many man. When once you marry, I seen this one movie. Mm -hmm. This man even if you watch seeing this movie, I forgot the name of the movie, but the man was like, uh, he can't help. He can't. Uh, he mad. I mean, he can't deal with the fact that he gotta have sex with one person for the rest mm -hmm. of his life. So after I heard that, I feel like this how all niggas gonna do. Like, what nigga gonna wanna have? What boy gonna wanna have sex with you for the rest of your life? Only one person for the rest of your life. I'm, I'm different. I, I would like want to do that. I, so it's like, no. I'm different. I feel like I believe in marriage. I'm not going to be, like, the type of I am, I'm not going to be nobody's boyfriend for, like, 10 years. This I'm not year. even, I don't even want to be nobody's boyfriend. Y'all don't like that? No, I don't do, that's my ex. Only, if it's not my ex, I don't want no more relationship. Mm. That's the only relationship I ever like, but that made me not even want relationship. And I'm just, maybe when I'm, like, where I want to be in my mansion, have mm -hmm. so much money to where I can have a boyfriend, because my boyfriend gone. Really be it. We both mm -hmm. gonna have motion and it's ain't gonna be bro bitch energy we gotta do for each other so Okay, but y'all with me, I I don't I just don't see myself like dang nobody for like ten years. Like what's the point? Like if you if we together for ten years, you might as well just marry me. Because I don't know, I'm just different. Bro, like, of course you're gonna get married if you scared for ten years. I'm <laughs> saying like in general, it'd be some people that'll get married in like two years. Uh, no, I ain't you should have said like two years on this ability. So ten years, of course they're gonna make you wanna get married. You in love as hell. It's like yeah. it's nothing you can do. I don't know, but I date hell, you're not gonna get married. You'll date somebody for thirty years and never get married. Mm -hmm. But when I date, I date I like I don't date just today, I date like long term. Like this mm -hmm. how I am. The way I date, if you cheat on me once, it's cheating. We, I'm finna cheat, 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 cheat. So it's not a way. We not dating. When you cheat on me that one time, we not even dating no more. So I don't even try to date the day long. Because like I said, this generation ain't nobody finna be loyal for long. Um, I can't believe it. Family isn't a necessity for me. It's not. Because family don't even support you. Not, yeah, like with my family, my family is kind of weird. Like, I feel like I'm the type of person, like, I don't really, you know how folks be like, I don't hate family, but I just feel like I just... I don't too much care for them. If you in my life, you in my life. But if you not, I'm not finna lose sleep or finna be like upset. Oh, like, mm, family just not the necessity to me. Like, I, like if I feel like you disrupted my peace, you just could. Like, this is how I am. 
And for my family who watching this, y'all know exactly what I'm talking about. Like, there's no shade. And then with all uh, them, how my family is, they try to come back around now because I'm known. Mm -hmm. But baby, you still don't listen to me. If you're not my mom, like my mom is like the only, and my mom and my sisters is like the only person I like them. I really care about. I don't get on fault. If you, my family, you see this, you know we ain't got no buns. So it's like they hate so much. Like I come from a family that just hates. That's so how much. mine is too. Y'all just hate. I don't like that. Shade. I don't like that. I hate when people say gay boys want to be girls. I don't, because I'm scared of coochie. You know what I'm saying? Like, how y'all be saying gay boy want to be girl? Baby, I'm scared of coochie. I'm scared of coochie lips. I'm scared of all that. Why would I want to have a Philly cheesesteak between my legs if I'm scared of it? Like, they don't make, what would make me want to be a girl? Baby, I just like it up the ass. And there's no shade. There's no shade. It's not like I want to be a female. I don't want to be no female. I would never want to be no female. Y'all got too much problems. Y'all get pregnant at the one stroke. And there's no shade. I, feel I, don't, like, I don't want it. I don't know. I feel like when girls say that, I just feel like it's a side. Of ignorance, like, no, they jealous. They like, jealous when if somebody said, uh -huh. like, I think this, he thought, like, how you mad at a transgender? If you think a transgender can take your own um, womanhood, that means you was never a woman. Like, how you mad at mm. somebody for like doing what they doing? How you yeah. mad at me because they know that because niggas now do general like niggas. I, don't, I ain't gonna even say it because y'all might be a hit, but y'all know niggas come for bitches like us, like, no shade, they come for. Come for the gays, and y'all don't like that because y'all don't be talking about men. Yeah, but that's going on to me because me personally, I don't want to be no girl. I don't want to be a girl. I like being a boy. I'm just feminine. Like I feel like you could be feminine and just be gay, mm -hmm. but I don't. I don't want to be no girl. Mm -mm. I like being a boy. I like gentlemen. I like gentlemen who like niggas. The street niggas. I like like preppy college boys. Like, mm -hmm. but I would talk to any, any nigga with money though. But college. <laughs> Maybe when I started, kind of, I might give me a call, but like, I don't talk to anybody that got money. I don't just prefer hood. They prefer me, like, no shade. If anything, like, just in general, like, if a, okay, I'm gonna use this as an example. Mm -hmm. If a pretty, if me and Miss Mama was out in the thing, like, we have two different personalities, a pretty boy will come up to Miss Mama before they come to me. Cause I give off that, like, if I was a female, I would get off that hood bitch loud type thing. Mm -hmm. Miss Mama's give off pretty boy like type thing. Just like if it was a hood nigga. He probably would pull a strong hood nigga, but I'm saying, like, uh, hood niggas normally that's normally that's always in my DMs. It'd mm -hmm. be like hood niggas and DMs. I don't really too much pay to like pretty boys don't mind. No shame. Mm -hmm. It's the opposite with me. Like I don't really play like them type of boys. Don't mind. Mm -hmm. I like the hood niggas. That's why I feel like um me and Ken like a good friendship because I ain't never gotta worry about like each other like mm -hmm. flirting with somebody like, man because we just got two different types. No shame because I don't like pretty boys at all. Like me and Ken got two different types, so like we ain't never gotta worry about nothing dude. I look at a lot of my friends like children. Me like friends my age, I look at them like children. Cause like referring back to like what I said, like the cloud thing make you grow up faster. I don't know. Like I just feel like I'm in a different stage of life as them, and it's not like a bad thing. It's like no shade. Like we just in two different stages of life. So I just feel like y'all just kids. Like y'all kids to me because y'all are still like babies. Like you be like, in two different stages of life. Uh, my friends, like all my real friends, like they old, like older me, friend older than me. So I don't really too much look at them as no child. And they all like influencers and do the same thing. So it's like, mm. it's, I don't fight. I play charges. I don't fight. I don't. I know how. Don't get the misconstrued. I know how to fight. But I'd rather have my hood nigga shoot you and go crazy about me than me and messing up my face. But yeah. So I don't fight, but my nigga don't shoot you. How the person I am, don't fight me. I'm going to call the police and I'm not going to care. I will go to sleep good at night knowing that you are locked up. And I will, go, I will go to sleep good at night knowing that you got shot and my nigga got locked up and I'm going to be jail to bail him out the next thing. Why you still in jail, mad that you got beat up and shot and now you still in jail. So you're really going to be mad. Yes. So. I feel like, I don't know, for me, I just feel like fighting is just like... Mm -hmm. This is like childish. Like if you and then if you like old folks who you want to fight, I feel like at a certain age you just can't do this. Certain stuff you just don't. No, they say that. Let me do opinion. Uh -huh. My opinion is all gays hate on young gays. Yeah. This is my opinion. All gays hate on young gays. Period. I feel like that is like the truth. Like even that's something else I noticed. Like I probably didn't know, like really mention it to you, mm -hmm. but like since I've been there, I'm just like it just been all punks. Like just in my DM, just like. You know how folks just try to like start some shit, but I like, really start some shit, but mm -hmm. you can like peek through it. They just be shady. Like, that's why I don't really, because me personally, I don't like, if y'all know me in person, y'all know how I am. I don't like hang around like gay people only because they messy thing. Like, I just don't like mess. I don't like mess. I don't like that drama shit. But like, Ken, like, Ken acts just like me. Me and Ken, like, act so similar, but Ken is just a little bit more feminine than me. That's the only thing. So that's why I really fuck with him because he's not into mess. He ain't into drama. He ain't like into all that. And that's a lot of like, that's how gay people are. Gay people are just messy, but you just gotta find not, the right. Yeah, people. they don't say not all gay people. Like, it's the gays that don't have their going, um, going for their studies. Yeah. Messy. 
and they just want to compete or just they don't have nothing going for themselves. No shade. And old people, let me say, I feel like old people hate young people. And this is my story, and I'm taking it to the grave. Y'all hate um young people because y'all been getting busted down since Kara took and was walking on the other <laughs> railroad. So y'all mad because y'all uh -huh. loose, turned, burnt, flipped, and turned out. So now they coming for the young gays, and y'all mm -hmm. mad, and y'all don't like that. But don't this why y'all don't like it. Don't come for me, baby, because y'all all that. Put your hands on me. You want jail, dead. I feel like a lot of gay boys don't know how to be gay. I feel like, I don't, I don't think that's true, because anybody, if you gay, you just gay, like, no shade. It's I feel like it's a certain gay. way with this gay stuff, you're supposed to carry yourself. It's like... I don't think, if you, that's what, that's what I feel, and that's where I come in, like, y'all always want everybody to be this, like, y'all want them to have this type of masculinity, this, the feminine. If you gay, you gay. If you want to be, be who you is. If you messy, be messy. Not saying it's a good thing, if you're not a pretty gay person, you're not a pretty gay person. Like, I feel like if you gay, you gay. Like, mm. y'all just be want everybody, like, you judge me, so you judge I'm, gays. You I, just judge <laughs> gays. But I feel like, be who you are. I like, just, not everybody is. gonna be like that. Not everybody raised up like that. This time, I just feel like you. Just, I don't know. I just feel like it's just a respect thing. I just feel like, cause like you just gotta know how to carry yourself. I just feel like that's with anybody in general. Like, yeah, like just with like girls. Just I feel like I feel like, like, like just, I feel like the same thing with girls. A girl has to like not necessarily have to carry themselves, but it's a certain way you just do shit. Like my thing. He best trying to. Say, my thing is. For gay people, my opinion, because you asked me my opinion, mm -hmm. so it's really not your opinion. You did, you did your opinion already, mm -hmm. so my opinion. My thing is, if you gay, be who you is. Don't worry about listening to nothing he say. I'm not saying, like, just like if you go around straight, people don't be scared. Do you? I'm not saying make them uncomfortable, but don't. If, like, stop trying to do that. Stop trying to impress these straight people. Stop trying to do that. He just a gay person. No shade. They always try to express, impress straight people. No, it ain't never, no, it ain't never gay. Like, no shade is giving me, like, it ain't never gay. No, I just feel like. No, yourself, when I say this, is, I just feel like it's a certain way to be gay. Some people don't know how to be gay, you know, because we not the same. It's 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 listen, 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 we not the same gays we were when we were, because uh, I feel like it's a difference between being a baby punk and then being a gay boy. When you evolve from a baby punk into a gay boy, it's different, because when we were punks, we were just like, we not the same how we was when we was fourteen saying. years old. I understand. Kim. Kim. When I was fourteen, I was still saying I like the hood niggas. When I was fourteen, <laughs> ain't nothing. Ain't nothing. <laughs> Everybody who watching it, who who been watching me since fourteen, have I changed? What? So it's just a mature thing. Like no. I feel like. I feel like you just need to learn how to be gay. I'm That's saying, basically what you're No, saying. I'm saying like... I'm so, let me no, tell you, if you want to have sex with a nigga, do you, but be protected with him. Do what you want. That's what I'm saying. Do. That's what I'm getting more too. People don't know how to be gay. People just like... Don't know how to be gay. You gotta learn how to be gay. Oh, they don't even make sense. It's so like, easy being gay. Just get fucked by being <laughs> gay. Like I don't, I don't. If y'all understand, I don't understand. This opinion video, so this my yeah, opinion. Yeah, but that's why. That's why I'm thinking. I'm sticking to it. They just, he just being judgmental to other. No, I'm just saying. Don't get, I feel like he judgmental to the gay that's not on his level. Like, gay, you basically saying that because you ain't tell no person no shade that's over you. Like gay person that's over you and say they don't know how to be gay. And you wouldn't say that because no, you like, say that. But somebody don't got nothing on you. You saying they don't know how to be. Gay, like, no, I'm just saying in general, like, if y'all know what I mean, y'all know what I mean. I just feel like when you, I just feel like when you, um, represent a community, it's just a time where you care. Well, I ain't represent shit. Fuck, <laughs> fuck the community. I'm gonna be who I am. I'm gonna do what I want to do. I ain't here to impress no, nobody else in the LGBT community. If you don't like it or wear on me, and it's don't matter. I ain't gonna impress you. Not my niggas. I ain't no impress. I feel like I'm slept on. I'm slept on. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like that too. But the people that be slept on the most, they be the one who blow up at the end. So don't ever feel like you slept on. Just keep popping your shit mm -hmm. and doing what you're doing. And yeah. So that is my opinion. I'm um, saying like, 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 niggas wise. I feel like niggas sleep on me. Oh, did it mean you didn't do something? <laughs> oh, I ain't slept on anyway. <laughs> no shade. Um, never mind. Oh, you didn't do something. Else, baby. Never mind. I was, I was talking about like with the career, but with the niggas, I ain't slept on, baby. <laughs> Damn. Why you still, <laughs> nah, that last opinion, he probably said y'all gay so how to be gay because y'all be getting all the niggas and he still said he stood on by Y'all see, that what it is. That yeah. what it is. You know what he said? He don't know how to care. You know, he, you, 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 no, no, he just said they don't know how to carry himself. He Girl. basically saying, like, they be trying to talk to all of them. No, I'm saying, no, I'm saying, I feel like I'm still on only because, like, People, because, like, I feel like, because when people walk up to me in person, they be like, oh, you actually cute in person, like, mm -hmm. like, they thought I was just ugly or something. I feel like, because on the internet, you know, you know, y'all know how to give it up. I come out here with the same red shorts, white t-shirt on. This comedian, like, when yeah. you comedian don't have to get dressed on the internet, like. Yeah, so, like, I feel like when people see me in person, like, it's like, oh, you're not ugly. 
Yeah, but uh, yeah, I see what you're saying. So I do feel like I get stuffed on because on my page, it's like really nothing cute of me. So you really don't know how I look. But I feel like you look the same as how when you recently started posting, like how you look mm -hmm. on Instagram. But if you're talking about like from back then, of mm -hmm. course you don't look the same now. But like when you recently started posting, it get the same. But you just have in person is different than on camera. So it's like what in person it is. You look the same, it's just like you more. I don't know how to explain you look. I'm not gonna say you don't, you look better, but I don't know how to explain it. Like, y'all know, like, when y'all see something, you just in somebody's face, so it's like, oh, it's good. Like, oh, you're not ugly, nothing there. You just, you fine. Like, you know, you fine. You, even when you be posted on the internet, you don't give up ugly. You just don't get dressed. Like, so basically, that's what you should have said. Like, because mm -hmm. you don't be dressed up and stuff like that. But you never gave your face, never give ugly on the internet. It never been that. No shade. Thank you. And this is the last one, like the last, 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 last one. I don't believe in hookups. What you think on that? <laughs> I don't believe in hookups all jet or Tim. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I feel like oh, no man. I don't mean, know. If you on the jet, <laughs> grind it or carry it, you, you, you gotta do better. You gotta do better. No, but if you like no shade, now hook up like okay, right. like a nigga in my school. Let me say like if a nigga in my school, and they be like. They want to do it like they want to link, especially for DL hood, mm -hmm. baby y'all. And they we they end up text me, and okay, then we end up link it. A sneaker link and a yeah. hook is the same thing. Um, no, a hook a sneaker uh, link can be with anybody. A sneaker link can be with somebody you really fuck with. Like, yeah, a hook up can uh, be hook somebody dirty. You get dirty, you get dirty burnt out. Jay, if you on Twitter. You that made, I see what he's saying because I said somebody at school, so I actually know the person. Yeah, you like I feel school. like it's different, but you know, like I feel like you know, like I they feel like don't know them. Like, they don't know them. Mean, no yeah, them. they get me dirty. I don't believe in hookups. I just feel like this, like I just feel like this how you get burnt fast. Oh yeah, and speaking of getting burnt fat for y'all young gay that do out here do home cause y'all that gonna get on prep and get checked up. That's why I'm on prep and always just cause you on prep, baby, still use protection. Yeah, I'm fat, so yeah. Yeah, but I don't like another reason I don't believe in hookups. Yeah, I'm still a virgin. Like maybe if I was up there popping out of things, like but I'm still a virgin. But like maybe a year from now it might be different. But um, as of now, I don't, I don't think I ever believe in hookups. Hookups, mm, sneak away. Oh yeah. I don't think I'm gonna get on no day. Cause I get most jet. niggas who be on jet and grinding until they just don't get niggas in person. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I need mine in real life just by walking to the trash can. Yes. Y'all look at our shirts. I got my yeah. Miss Armor shirt on. He got his Miss Armor shirt on. Yeah. Y'all, this the end of the video. Make sure y'all like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thank y'all so much for subscribing to my channel. I gained 400 subscribers in the past seven days. And that's crazy. Like, Cause y'all know I don't do YouTube. I don't really take it serious, but I'm gonna come out here for real, for real. Cause it's just showing like y'all at the I got like I only got like two thousand subscribers, and like I got like a thousand videos in the last two I posted. So they just mean like y'all mess with me. So thank y'all so much for that. Um, make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. You can follow me on everything, literally everything. Yeah, it's me, sir. I T S S M E S I R. I dropped a song. I dropped a song. It's called Judy. It's on literally every streaming platform, Apple Music, Spotify, all that. Miss Mama's Judy. Make sure you stream that song. Make sure you watch my previous video before this if you haven't. And make sure you subscribe and like and leave a comment because I love reading y'all comments. Okay, okay. y'all can follow Kitravion at I'm Kitravion with an extra N on Instagram, and you can follow Kitravion mm -hmm. on YouTube at. It's just it just on my platform. I'm the only contributor on this world. Just the people that's on to me. Anybody right. else that got my name, they younger than me. No shade. So it just contributing on everything. Yeah. So make sure y'all follow him. Yeah. This my friend. He is so 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 funny. So if y'all want to laugh, y'all think I'm funny, check him out. Bye, Bye Miss Mama. <laughs>